Hey guys, I'm here today with a current beauty favorites. I didn't do one for the month of January, so this is kind of a mix of the past two months. Just some stuff I've been loving lately. So let's get started with the makeup because that is the fun stuff. So this is probably one of my favorite things of this whole year. And I got it at the end of last year and I almost included it in my yearly favorites because it was something I just love that much. And it's the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Lip Glosses in Sugar. I'm wearing it today. Yes, it is a total me color. It's very daily, nothing incredibly special. But it's a little darker than one of those concealer type nudes. But it has some pink and... It is just the perfect everyday shade. I want to wear this all the time. It resembles my Bite Beauty lychee um, little lipstick that I wear all the time that's almost out and discontinued. I love these glosses. They're thick. I don't think they're sticky, but they're thick. They're smooth. They smell like Play-Doh, which I personally really like, but I can see somebody not liking it. I love them and they just came out with a new line called Lip Lacquer and I'm really curious about that because these, I almost described these as a lacquer gloss so I don't know how much more pigmented and glossy something can get because this is intensely pigmented. I just have loved it so so much. Okay, another thing that is actually new to me this year I forgot to include in my haul. I picked this up at Sephora. It's the Cover FX Moonlight highlighting powder. It's the mini size. If you've watched any, <laughs> excuse me, I'm still battling that little lingering cough. If you've watched any of my videos this year except for today and I've had a highlight on, it was probably this. It looks kind of gold in the pan, but on your skin, I don't want to say it has like a silver hint. It's almost like a neutral. It's just very, let me see if that will it's almost just like skin. Do you see it there? It's one of those natural, very pretty highlights. It catches, you know, the light and you have a little bit of a sheen on your cheek, but it's not like bam, metallic, which that's fine. I always say that, but I just like the more subtly pretty, you know, like there's a little bit of a sheen on your cheek, but I'm not seeing, you know, a mega stripe. That's just the look I personally prefer on me, but everybody is different. This, I actually checked the website this morning and they don't have the small size available anymore. It was only $10, but they do have the full size and it's just the Moonlight. And I have the Drops, Cover FX Moonlight Drops. I guess they're the same kind of color family because those drops are kind of neutral too. They have like some cool and some warm tones to the drops and I guess this kind of does too. I guess that's a really good way to describe it. It's so pretty. Okay, a product that I picked up on recommendation of someone else was a Bare Minerals kit. I talked about it in that haul as well, but this standout was the Bare Radiance. I already have a bunch of powder on bronzer, but I'll show you how I apply it. This one is brand new because I had picked up a, um, a backup. I don't know where my full size, my one in use is. Anyways, this is the color. It is a pinky red tone bronzer, I guess is the best way to describe it. I actually filmed to get ready with me using this and it was such a train wreck that I deleted it and didn't upload it. But this is such a natural bronzer. What I like to do is I tap a little bit in the um, lid, which I tried to demonstrate that in that tutorial. And then this is a Sephora Airbrush 55. And this is the one that I just really like to apply it. And I get it in there and kind of pack it into the bristles, swirl it around, tap it off. And then I just go in like I do bronzer, you know, nothing different. Tap a little bit more, do the same thing, do that. And then I might, you know, do a little bit of extra there. It is just such a very, it's pretty and healthy and natural. This also came in a kit. <laughs> this is like, you like this? Well, you can't get it. I don't know if this kit is available anymore, but it's the Bare Minerals Bare Radiance. If I can find it, I will link it down below. It is so, just so good. Okay, well, here's a few products that you can definitely get anytime you want. First off is the MAC. Prep and Rock Prime Highlighter and Radiant Rose. 
I had gone through one of these before and ended up picking up a new one at the end of December, sometime in December, because I had missed it so much. And what I do is I do my under eye concealer and then I draw a little bit right in this area where you can get the darkest, just like a little bit of line on each side. And it's one of those things, it's just a subtle lightening, brightening to that area. It's not anything to where you're going to say, oh, there's a lot of pinkness. I have it today. It's not one of those crazy under eye highlighting tricks, but it just opens up that area and brightens it a lot. And going through one of these and using it every day and then not having it for a while, I realized how much I missed having it. So it's just one of those things that it's not a big obvious difference to your makeup every day, but it's enough that I really wanted to pick it up again to have. And it is just a very, I don't want to click up any, but it's a very light, kind of white pink shade. And I have tried the Maybelline Radiant one, and to me that was more orangey and deep. So. If you had a deeper skin tone than me, then you may really like that shade, but you'd have to be pretty fair to light complected to enjoy that one. So, you know, I could see the Maybelline one being better for a little bit deeper skin tones. And then this is definitely no surprise to my channel if you're a viewer, NARS Madly. I had kind of been like on a no blush kick for the past few months. And I had kept my Charlotte Tilbury First Love Blush out, and that was really the only one I was reaching for if I was even using blush at all. And my friend Alexis on here, I will link her channel down below. If you do not watch her, I think you should really go check her out. If you like my videos, I think you'll like her. She has pretty similar makeup taste to me as far as she likes warm shades. She doesn't do any, you know, really crazy out there looks. A little more makeup than I wear. She tries to use up stuff. She likes candles. She likes Bath and Body Works. We have very, I guess you could say similar channels in a way. She's a good bit younger than me. She's cute as a button, so I will link her as well. She's probably a favorite. But she did a video saying, um, I think Daylene. Okay, YouTube made me do it, Project Pan Edition. And she mentioned this blush because I had made her pick it up. And it inspired me to dig it out of my blush drawer. And I'm wearing it today. And I've been wearing it every time since she talked about it that I've been wearing makeup. And I know this is not anything new. But it just made me remember why I love this blush so much. It is just the most gorgeous, healthy, flushed cheek. It has warmth. But it's neutral-ish at the same time. You could wear it with, you know, a red lip, a nude lip, a whatever. You could almost skip bronzer and just use that because it's so, just livens up your face. It just makes me remember why I like it. Okay, this is fairly new. I haven't even showed y'all. It was, I think I did talk about it and that really failed. Get ready with me. It is the Patchology Lip Service Gloss to Balm Treatment. I actually picked it up on Nima Marcus because I had free two-day shipping, but Nordstrom has it now. It has this little applicator like this. It's not um, fabric-y like those Clarins. It's just spongy with little holes. Not spongy. silicone -y. Oh my gosh. It is the most hydrating lip product. I'm trying to use up some other things at the same time. So I don't let myself use this one constantly. Because I know I would just blow through it immediately. When you put it on, it says gloss to balm. It's thick and glossy and shiny and just, oh, it feels so good on your lips. And then as it sinks in, it leaves just this kind of like balmy texture behind. It's hard to explain. It's pretty much just clear on your lips. Just maybe the little bit of, little bit of pink tint. It has the slightest mint scent. It's very just sweet. But I say mint just because in case you're like, you know, have a strong aversion to mint, you know, don't get it. Oh, I just, I absolutely adore it. It is probably, I mean, I would wear it to bed, but just during the day, around the house, carrying your purse, leave at the sink, whatever, it is probably just, oh, probably my favorite just lip balm I've ever used. I know, that's like crazy to say, because I'm a lip balm junkie, but I love it that much, so it's been good. Okay, this is a skincare product that I have talked about 
and I featured it in my skincare routine video. It's the Drunk Elephant TLC Free and Booze Glycolic Night Serum. But I feel like I haven't had a chance to really give it the praise, I guess you could say, that it deserves. It is a 12% AHA BHA blend. I was very skeptical of it because I have rosacea, I have sensitive skin. I had contacted Drunk Elephant and they said it was fine to use on rosacea. I've watched a few YouTubers that have it and they say it works great on their skin. But then I've watched other people like Stephanie Nicole say it irritated her skin. So it's one of those things I was really hesitant, but I had quite a few of the packet samples I hoarded to use consistently for a while to see if I noticed results. And I did. I am not one of those acid peel pad type people at all because they scare me with my skin. But I've seen such a difference in this. I used to always have very consistent chin breakouts. I don't know what it was. It was just like clogged pores, just constant. I would have a breakout on my chin. And I definitely have some blackheads on my nose, but since using this, the chin breakouts have diminished almost 100%. My nose is starting to be clear. It's not just so like congested, poor feeling in that area. I can do, you know, different, all kinds of things I do to try to get that area clear. But it wasn't until I incorporated something like this that it really made a difference. Now, I am not, um, what's the word? Like, I'm not going to be tied to this. I definitely would like to find a more budget-friendly option that did the same thing, but it also didn't irritate my skin as well. I had watched Stephanie Nicole's video comparing this to the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, and I forget what it was right now, but there was an ingredient or two in that one that I know I can't use because it breaks me out. And I've actually used a few samples of that and I was not really impressed. So I don't know, but if you have any dupe comparisons to this, I just, I know that this AHA BHA blend works with my skin. It doesn't irritate my rosacea. So it has to be somewhere along, you know, that line. But I've just been very impressed. Okay, a few more things and we'll, I'll try to breeze through these because they're not as fun. The Dry Bar Triple Sec 3-in-1 texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. I had picked this up. It also has a really amazing scent. It's kind of sweet, vanilla, maybe like a hint of coconut. I don't know. But um, I had picked this up when I did that Ulta Point Haul Redemption that I never filmed because somebody had said they like to use this as a dry shampoo. No, no. I did not like it as a dry shampoo. I sprayed it all up in my roots and it was just like matted texture. It was not pleasant. But my hair is really heavy. It's gotten long. And when I do like that little top knot or I do a bun, it's so heavy it just wants to fall. It doesn't want to hold up there because when my hair is clean and washed, it's just so soft, which sounds, you know, nice, but it doesn't want to hold anything. So I've just been using this to put in that area to give it just a little bit of a grit and a texture. And it makes the world a difference in getting my hair to hold and do something. Because I don't use hairspray. I'm not a hairspray user. So I've really been enjoying this. I'm not like a texturizing spray person. So I can't tell you how well it compares to others. But I have been really impressed with it. And speaking of hair, I'm way overdue for a haircut. Okay. Well, this one I almost didn't even include. I really do like it, but I just kind of wanted to talk about it. It's the Kopari Coconut Oil Deodorant. It's pretty new. It smells lovely. Kind of coconutty. Not, um... I mean, it has like almost like a clean scent, too. That's what it looks like, in case you're curious. I was worried it would be really greasy because it's Kapari coconut oil. This works so well. I do have to reapply it about midway through the day, mid-afternoon, just because natural deodorant doesn't hold up as well, but it's worked really well and we've had some really warm weather already. Okay, lastly for stuff I can show you, I love kombucha and this is one that I have always seen people show pictures on Instagram. I have to stretch out my legs. And I had never found it, but I did find it in my local Whole Foods the other day. I don't get over there very often because it's not super local to me. It's the Health Aid Kombucha in Pink Lady Apple. 
I just have to say, I absolutely love this. Now, when I buy a kombucha bottle, I drink it on like two separate days, like half one day and half the other day. I don't drink it all at once. But it says, incredibly crisp with a hint of cider or organic and raw pink lady apple kombucha. It's truly nature's treat. I don't know if it has kind of the hint of cider, but it just made it so less like... You know how kombucha... That is like the ugliest face. But you know how kombucha, if you drink it, it has that... You know, that like little tart twang. This was a little more, I guess you could say, smooth. Super delicious. I'll have to get more of these. Very, very, very tasty. And then lastly, I just... I wanted to mention a few TV shows that I've really been liking. If you turn on the TV at all, then they're no surprise to you. Obviously, This Is Us. I'm so excited that... I hate to say it. I'm so excited the Olympics are over and it's coming back tomorrow. I watched the Super Bowl episode, episode probably like three times. I guess I just wanted to torture myself and cry. It just... Oh, it gets me. It just gets me. And I'm not somebody that likes gooey emotional shows and movies and wants to cry and that's not my you know cup of tea but I just love this show and I don't cry all the time when I watch it I don't I'm not one of those that you know have a good cry every week but oh I just I love it so much and then also Grace and Frankie on Netflix their newest season just came out me and my husband have already finished it and it's just it's just so fun and quirky and just it's really worth watching and I'm not even like a sitcom watcher but um it's just I don't know it's been really fun and then lastly me and my husband have been re-watching True Blood at night which we watched it when it originally aired and it was just one of those I don't know it was it was summer if True Blood was on it was summer it just summer didn't feel like it was summer unless True Blood was on I don't know and it has um you know it's it's interesting I'll put it that way but I've been really enjoying watching it again because it's one of those we just watched, you know, once a week and that was it. I didn't go back and rewatch ever. And I'm enjoying it a little more now, I think, than I did originally. Some of the characters I enjoy more when originally I hated them. I don't know, you know, what it was. Like Sam, his character, when it was on, I just didn't really care for him. And now I like him so much more. And when it was on, Bill was, I guess, okay. But now I'm just like, ugh. But anyways, that's it. And I guess that's about it. I, um, I don't know. That's, I've, you know, if you've watched me the past few months, I feel like I've really just kind of gotten in a, I don't want to say a rut, but a specific rhythm with the stuff I've been wearing and liking. And I just haven't strayed too far from those specific things or those specific tastes. So I feel like my favorites may not be as fun as some people that are trying out all these crazy things but it's things I've just genuinely liked and I wanted to share. So I hope you have enjoyed and I guess I will, well, and tell me down below, please, when y'all do not comment, it doesn't make this near as fun. So please tell me down below what your favorites have been the past month, the past two months, just lately, whatever, TV shows, anything, anything you've been liking, let me know. So bye.